Hi everybody, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a Padlet for a gallery walk. Um, I've gone ahead and started this um, just to give you guys a baseline, but I would first come over here to make a Padlet. Um, you can create a Padlet account through Baltimore County and it will sync with all of your Google Drive information. So I'm going to click this Padlet I've already started uh, here. Um, and I'm going to go up to the settings. These will normally automatically come up. I give it a title, um, description. It gives me the address that I will come back to. I can change the wallpaper to a different texture if I would like to uh, have something else as my background here um, that I want to focus on. Um, I can change my color scheme, my font size I can make larger. Now I have a couple of choices here. I can make it so students are required to sign in their name or I can leave this anonymous. Um, towards the beginning of the year while we're gaining comfort with one another, I like to leave these anonymous so that way students feel okay to share their thoughts while they're still getting to know us as teachers and our classmates. Um, I want to default for the gallery walk to make each of my posts so that new posts go last, and I'll explain why for that in a moment. For the gallery walk, I'm going to recommend we start with the comments off, but we can adjust that later. And I'm going to go ahead and allow students to do a rating system on each other's posts as we talk about uh, argument and defense. Uh, towards the beginning of the school year, you might want to require approval for post, especially if you were doing these asynchronously, um, so that way you check them before they go up. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and so you, show you how easy this is. So what I've done here is I've started to make gallery walk and these are very easy. I go ahead and I can give uh, each of these a different topic and these will save over. As I go through, I have added pictures. These used to be in a PowerPoint I used to do with this lesson, but I would come in here. I'm going to just put the same one up just to show you how easy this works um, to set them up in here. So that way I have my different gallery walk elements. Now I would want to make sure that I gave students more direction than just coming to this site. I can either do that on the description or if I, this is during one of my virtual classes, I can go ahead and give them instructions before they head to this Padlet. Once here, I have a lot of different options. Um, following the 10th grade curriculum, I can ask them what is emphasized in each of these uh, memorials and they can respond with a piece of emphasis, or I can ask them to defend which of these um, are accurate representations or the strongest representations of a memorial and then they can go ahead and add their comments down here below so they can start start commenting this memorial is the uh, best representation because and then continue to fill out their thought in that way what makes this great as a gallery walk is because it allows all students to be on here at the same time, their responses will fill out down below. Once I've given them time to respond to each of these, note they do expand and I'm able to see uh, the different pictures much larger. You can have students go back and look at the argument that each of their classmates have read. You could say, go back to one of the topics that you did not think was the best representation and rate the argument of your classmate. So if this was a particularly strong rating, I could give it four stars uh, for how they made their argument in case if I disagree and think that they only uh, used opinion and did not use ethos, pathos, and logos uh, or factual evidence, um, they might give that a one star. That then allows us to go back and have a conversation as a class on how to go about these. The last thing you want to know is how to share these. You can copy this to your clipboard. That will give you a link that you can then share with students so they can access this at any time. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you all.